Welcome to another DaVinci Resolve Tips and Tricks episode. In this video, we're going to explore a topic that has been more than explored by everyone else but me. But I don't think you've seen this quick and dirty trick before. And although it's fairly clean and extremely malleable. Let's dive in. Oh no, no I forgot to say that you can sing by my page and download the power grade for free with all the notes that are already prepared for you. Okay, first of all, let me show you what we got here. What's in the power grade? So that's the power grade thumbnail that you are going to download. You just need to import in your stills or create a um, power grade album. So it, it goes across all your projects, not just this one that you're working on. And then you can drag and drop in any of the layers you want into your uh, node tree. Um, this is part of my fixed node tree, um, the new one I'm working on. This image, we all know it, it comes from an Ari Mini LF in this case, so it's log C3. I already have this preset it here on the group pre-clip. I'm going to set the input gamma, which is log C3, move it straight to DaVinci white gamma, white gamma intermediate, uh, which is my preferred working space. Um, and then let's go straight to the timeline where I'm going to receive this DaVinci white gamma intermediate and convert in Rex 9 gamma 2.4. So this is the image that you have. This is the normalized image from log C3 to Rex 9 going through DaVinci White Gamma Intermediate as a working color space. But, you know, uh, if you've been following me, that I have a really nice pack of LUTs and you have a bunch of negatives and positive or, or prints um, that you can play with. In this case, I'm not going to use the standard Rex 9 but I'm going to use my neg and print together to impart some look and it's already looking much better. It's looking different. Like, color is preferential, much better, I'll leave it to you. This is the standard Rex 9 and this has a look on it um, with some heat rotations and, and contrast curve uh, preference. So in this case, I mean, by any means, if you are developing your look in the timeline and it's gonna be applied to your whole film, commercial or whatever you're working on, you can come here to the gallery. Um, if you go to my, my my page and download this power grid you can drag and drop it here or whatever and then literally drag and drop yeah so this is our rex09 conversion i'm gonna delete this so you can use it here or as in this case i'm gonna be showing throughout this tutorial on my uh, group post clip but i you know if I divide my film into scenes, you know, if I group the film into different scenes, then I like to work these um, little touches here and there because probably if I go with this look for the whole film, uh, an interior scene and an exterior scene will have a different luminous level in terms of blacks and highlights and, and I would tweak this uh, preferentially. So in this case, as I would do it, I put it in the group post clip and by default this all comes um, disabled so you have to enable the the nodes if you want to have straight teal and orange look you can enable and disable I will explain what this does later but it brings down the shadows uh, because sometimes depending on what image the teal you know the, the push of the color push on the low lights will lift will lift the shadows ever so slightly these three are within DaVinci Resolve, you don't need anything else. This one here is a DCTL made by Colin Kelly that you can download for free on his website. This is uh, an exposure chart. The latest version, I believe, is uh, 1.3. It's free as well, so if you download this and install this, when you drag and drop my power grade, it won't say that you're missing this. Let, let, let's do start with this clip that I shot for Amazon Fashion on an FX6. So this is S-Log3 point here. Uh, let me do some on and off, selecting just these two, and I'm gonna do it. Uh, you can do it with Command D, I believe. I'll just use my mini panel. Um, I'm not gonna dwell on each image um, a lot until the end where I'm gonna explain everything and give you some new tips and tricks on how to use and manipulate um, this power grade. Um, but yeah, you can see clearly if I do separately, you can see what's doing here to the shadows and the orange, yeah, to the highlights. You can see this 
bulb here and this shaft of light. Um, let's move on. Okay, so on this one, you can see her skin tones that are getting quite, quite warm. But in this case, you know, just to show you quickly, if I want to um, preserve skin tones and not impart, in this case, just it, let, let's get just the oranges. You can see, I mean, not only the skin, yeah? You can see hair, you can see the highlights, the, the warmth um, that we're applying. But these two are qualified. I know many people say don't qualify, Brera. If it's really soft and nice, qualifying is great. Uh, but for this, I'm gonna press highlight on my mini panel, which is button number 12. Yeah, there are number buttons. And um, I think you have to press shift H if you're using your keyboard. Um, and you're gonna see, let me zoom out. And you're gonna see what are you qualifying, which I'm only qualifying luminance. So if I want to not qualify this bit of the skin, I will just do so. So what I'm doing basically is trying to only get highlights and not mid highs or mids. Come out of highlight. So you can see here, yeah, white. And we're applying some warmth, the exact warmth that I want. And I'm gonna explain that in a minute. Um, and you can see that her skin tone is ever, 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 ever so slightly, maybe not at all. I think I'm seeing just a sudden, sudden hair in the, in, in the specular highlights of her skin. Just a warmth, um, which, which is really nice. Um, oh well, and the teal, so we have a nice, it's really subtle. I'm I'm gonna e explain more in a bit, but you know I can I can bump up that warmth from here if if I'm wanting to. Let's move to this image. Do some on and off, and you can clearly see highlights, yeah, you know, specular highs in skin, um, the shirt getting quite warm, and the background, um, and these chaps skin tones and hair getting a bit of that teal very nice very subtle very integrated it doesn't scream teal and orange it doesn't have to it's look you can see the change i'll keep doing it on and off there's a really nice split tone going on but now i said the dirty word split tone and you say yes what you're doing is split toning you're adding warmth to to the highlight mid highlights and until to the shadows and I'd, and I'd say yes. And I would say, actually, if you wanna do a split tone, you are much better off doing it with the curves. I explain in other videos how to do it with the curves. Um, you can check it out. But in this case, the, the thing that you cannot do with the curves, with the curves, let's say you want to add warmth. I'm gonna pin, I mean, not scientific, but what would be more or less middle gray. Yeah, you want to add a bit of warmth to a highlight. You can see it here. Yeah. Now, what I'm saying is you're adding warmth. Yes. But you're not adding a consistent color. You're not adding this warming up, in this case, relative to the luminance of this white or the highlights. You're warming up. What we're doing here with the teal or an orange, we're selecting, you can do it here, round circle, but you can, you can choose the exact hex code for your color and every single time in every single image your selected portion will have applied that exact color so in this case what we do with this is creating an exact teal color an exact orange color and it will go through every single image that you apply depending or dependent on the selection or the, or, or the range of selection or qualifying per scene, I would say. Yeah, and adding color contrast, which is what we're doing by pushing highlights towards the orange and pushing the shadows towards. The, I downloaded this um, from the web, thanks to uh, the marvelous team, uh, Team 2 Film, they call the YouTube channel. They are really, really, really good um, teaching different things, not only color grading they do in this case, camera um, comparisons between an FX9 uh, and the new Sony Burano. Um, but I really, you know, I downloaded it to, you know, pixel peep a little bit. 
Um, but, you know, I think this teal look really, really, really works here. You can see these highlights, see what the orange is doing. Without the orange, with the orange. Without, with. Very subtle, but very powerful. And the blacks, um, because this image is quite dark, is imparting quite a lot of character, uh, this teal. For the first time, let's do the ramp. This ramp, and actually, because I'm importing some here with this preset. Um, well, I mean, this is taking me to Rex09, but let's leave it on DaVinci White Gamut so you can see this is gonna look slightly over the top. Um, but there, this is just to, to show you the ramp and all the stops. So basically what I'm doing on a split, on, on a parallel, um, I'm adding two color compressors. And that's why every single time on the range that I select here on my qualifier, this color, this exact hex color will be applied to the selected range. Selected range being that. So you can see up to where, yeah, up to here. So this is where I'm affecting do I want to affect more, like black stops, so to speak? I move the qualifier. Do I want to affect just the just the, the blacks that you never see? <laughs> so I left this on my power grade because I think it's a very good middle ground that it, work, that it will work for most images that you will apply this to. Uh, let's do the same. I'm still shift H, I'll press highlight on my panel. Um, and again, this qualification comes up to here and there's a little bit of spillage here, I would say that I can just see. So this is off and this is with the look um, on. And you can see that these two are mostly untouched. As I said before, I do like them to bleed. So there's a, there's a huge soft bleed between these two. So this is three in 85, 85, 85. And then it reads 86, 85, 85. So it's just a touch of red coming from the highlight. And this one reads 80, uh, 68, 68, 68. And when I apply it, it's still 68, 68, 68. So this one, this patch is the one that it is as it is. It's what it is. You just perceptually see a slight change because everything around it is changing. But this color picker is telling you nothing is changing. So, so to speak, not again, not precisely, precisely, but so to speak, middle gray is being preserved. And this is again preferential, as I showed you before. Um, so that, that's what I'm saying. It's very the, the ramp is very good, but it's a very helpful tool. I mean, if you don't want to download this tier, it won't change the look it's still here. And you can do it by eye and just move your qualification if you want to affect more highlight or more shadows. So well, let's put it there so it's obvious, right? So we're affecting the outer the vignette that the um the, the DP created with the lights. Um, and here, so the darkest part of her hair, the contouring of the light. Yeah, we're affecting that. And it's looking really nice. Again, subtle, isn't it? Really, really subtle. And with the orange, as seen before. Again, this is a very low level because the highlights will get a lot of this color more than the shadows. So if I push it hard, you know, it just, it, it breaks the image. For me, I keep it with him. 1.5 to 2 maximum. Um, let's put it 1.5 like that. But yeah, I, I was saying if we push, let me push this full blast. Let me go back to this um, chap here. And you can see that the the shadows are getting quite uh, soft. Uh, we're getting quite faded. I've been lifted a little bit by this color. So this is where this note here comes into place, which is a touch just you can see here, minus 0 0.02 on the shadows to bring back those shadows back to where, where, where it was before. Um, but if you prefer them lifted, then you don't have to use this. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Come to my uh, 
page and download this is for free there's other things as i said that you can support me and give me just a few dollars um yeah until next time happy grading bye